Hi guys, so this is part two of the video that I already started of the Bible class. I actually uh, made that video for a friend and after thinking about it, I figured that there was probably more people out there who would just like to see what an actual complete day would be like uh, using the ABEC Academy homeschool program for their children. Um, when I was looking for something I did find small little clips of videos on their website, but it doesn't show what an actual day is like. And so I figured that there's probably more people out there like myself wondering what exactly it entails uh, and before purchasing it. Um, so I did use other programs, which I will do reviews on as well. Um, some of them worked for my older children, and by the time I got to my third child, it just, the one that I was using before, this one just wasn't, um, it wasn't working for him. So I needed to find something else, and this is what I found. I absolutely love it. This works for all three of my children. Um, if your child has, um, str is struggling with reading, there are three different reading levels with this program, um, and that was a struggle that I had with the other program that I was using. But I will do reviews on the other programs as well just because I'm sure that there's people out there uh, that those work great for. Um, so yeah, so let's just get started. I'm going to try to get this done in as few videos as possible. Um, this program is fabulous if you're someone that works from home or um, you need, to, you know, you're trying to get lots of like housework done or whatever and you want to be able to just kind of leave your child um, to get work done and you don't have to be right there sitting next to them while they do it. Um, this is great for that because there's a teacher right there um, doing all the teaching. But if you're a parent who, you know, has the time to be um, sitting right next to your child doing all the teaching and just using books, that's great and I've used programs like that as well. Uh, like I said, I'll just I'll do reviews on the other programs that I used as well just so you can um, see different ones. But So this one has Bible, um, seat work, and then there's the reading levels. The, low, the um, beginners one is Tigers and then Giraffes and Zebras. If you don't know which reading program your child goes into, um, they do recommend that you just put them in Zebras. But that is the um, like the highest reading level. And then they do uh, phonics, language, and spelling. And then they do writing and then arithmetic. And then there's a PM reading. And then there's arithmetic combinations. And then there's activity time. In activity time, uh, that varies. Some days it's they sing songs, sometimes it's arts and crafts, um, like a health class that they get like a book for. Um, science and history is also taught during that time of the day. Alright, so I'll go back and try to fit in just um, some sample of like what um, seat work is. I'm not going to show the entire day because that's not my intention is to give away their uh, material. It's just to simply allow you to see what a day would look like using this program. Students watching for your seat work papers and arithmetic, write the odd numbers, color blue, the numbers with five in the ones place. They have filled in the even, so that will be easy for you to find the odd. And then here's a secret, this row, when you get to it, you're going to find fives in the ones place if you did it right. So this is the row that will be color blue. Take a look at this giant hermit crab. It says write the missing numbers. The sum is 11. You're getting really fast at the 11, so that should be easy. Don't forget this side over here as well. Number three says color the shapes, draw more shapes. If it were me, I would draw just three more shapes and then I would color them. In fact, I might even make a little imaginary line and make the exact same to see if I can make it look alike. Letters and sounds, write the new words using the suffix and the root words. Here are the root words, here are the suffixes. Okay, so she's going to go through and explain. Uh, they get one sheet in math that they need to do, um, a language paper, a writing paper, which 
will be over here. This is their writing paper that they'll have to do. Three and four. What is a perch, trout, sturgeon, or pike? Do you know what a fish may look like? In this poem, each of the first words gets a capital letter. On your language paper, drop the silent E, add the suffix ing. Here are your root words. You're going to rewrite the root word, but don't put the E on it. Don't just go ing, ing, ing. No, that just... Okay, and then they'll have a Bible page that they'll Thanks color. Thanks unto the Lord. Psalm 92, 1a. It says copy the Bible verse. If you have room on the piece of your tablet paper, you may copy it on your own. Now let's take a look at our board work. Number seven says write the alphabet. What you will do on the folds of your paper, because you're going to on the back of spelling, fold it in half, fold it in half again. Write capital A, little a, space, because there's the fold. Then these letters, then these, then these. Make sure that your rows are nice and neat, both capital and lower case. Number eight, you'll be able to fit this under your alphabet. You're just answering these combinations. Number nine, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. Psalm 71, 16. Boys and girls, who helps us? The Lord does. We can have His strength when we call upon His name. Okay, so then she explains the board work, and then your child um, is all set to do their independent work. And that's it for seat work. And then I'll just show a sample of the different reading levels. This is going to be zebras, so this is the, um, the most difficult one if you want to put them in that kind of category. Zebras, let's take a look at the words on the board. You each read two words, please. Emma. Schoolhouse leader. Chase. Higher teacher. Brianna. Pure upright. Brady. Amuse. America. Alita. Okay, so she goes over some words on the board with each group, and then they're going to stand up and they take turns reading um, a story that was given to them the day before. After your student does um, their reading for the day, they're assigned one that they would do um, obviously, this is recorded in their school, so these students go home and do it, but your child would read after, after the school day is completed or whenever you choose that night um, for them to read the story with you, and then they read it again in class. She asks them um, questions you know, to make sure that they comprehended what they read. President of the United States, George Washington. When George Washington was a boy, he lived on a farm. He went to a locked schoolhouse in a field. George was a good boy and every... All right, so then we'll show the next reading group, which is giraffes. And this one's a little bit easier than Giraffes, the, let's read the words on the, the board. Chase the first one. Silver. Calanthea. Splash. Nice and loud. Splash. They're in the last. Right. What do you notice the same about the second and third word, Kenny? They both have ED. Let's read them together. Ready? Splashed. Splashed. Rained. Rained. Do they have the same sound? Yes or no, Blake? No. Different sound, but they're spelled the same. Well, let's see if we can find it in our reading on page 8. First of all, tell me, what did Joy say the rain was like? Okay, so she's going to ask them questions about their story that they have already read, and then they're going to take turns reading. Sunshine and rain. One day it rained and rained. Joy liked the rain. She liked to splash in the puddles. She liked, she liked to get her boots wet. The rain is like silver, said Joy. Look at... Okay, so now I'll show a sample of... The tigers. Tigers, we have just one word. Let's read it together. Two flesh. Take out your reading book. Turn to page 24. What big gray animal did the boys see in the pond? Josh. A, hip, a hippopotamus. Everybody practice that word. A hippopotamus. Well, Josh, would you come and get us started? Reading with accuracy. Page 24. Just then the big gray animal stood up here. Now talk that. Just, 
just then the big gray animal stood up. That's all part of the same sentence. Read it with me. Ready? Just then the big gray animal stood up. He made a loud noise. What is this animal? Mike said to it. Okay, so then that's the last reading group. And then I'll show a little bit of the phonics language and spelling here. Students watching, join us. The girls are going to say two sounds. The boys will say two sounds. Notice I said sound. Ready, girls? Uh, uh, uh. Boys. Uh, uh, uh. Ot, ot, ot. Girls. Boys. Okay, so then they have different um, sound charts uh, that they get throughout the year. This is obviously, like I said in the beginning, this is day 121, so they are more than halfway through the year, so they get more complicated, but they go over these every single day, um, so they really learn them. Like, I can say to my child now, if he struggles on a word, if he's stuck on a word when he's reading, I can say... Um, aisled in, you know, and he'll fill in the blank. He knows all his sounds with his keywords. He he will tell me, aisled in child, I L D. So it really gets drilled into them, uh, which I think is absolutely fabulous. I've I haven't personally come across another program that is as good ex with reiterating and making sure that things get memorized and really stick in their head as well as this program does. Um, so sh this is what they do in this class. They go over their charts that they're learning currently. And then she has flashcards that they'll go over again with sounds. Um, I'll let you listen to just a little bit of this one. Here's one right here, that Isled and Child. Listen to the direction, pull down your mini sheet. Come be a secretary, Brady. Come be a girl secretary, Hannah. Okay, so then they'll do um, some work on the board to practice what they've just been learning. And what I personally did is, as these students are going up and writing on their the board in the class, I have a little separate whiteboard for my um, child and every single time one of those children get to go up there he does what they're assigned to do so he's getting it multiple times he gets more practice with the work at home than they do actually there because he can go up he can work on the work that you know all all of those children are working on uh, and then there's something else that she's teaching this over is the here. One that's going to be able to help them. Say, Miss Wheeler, how do we move our fire engines? Well, first of all, let me tell you, this is side one. All of you over here. This fire truck is for side two. All of you over here. Now, the way to get that fire truck to move is to practice our special sound. I'll say it first. Iron fire, I R E. You knew that though, didn't you? When you saw the picture up on the board, iron fire, I R E. Ier, Ier, Ier. Now notice, if I cover up the E, what special sound do you see, Darren? Okay, so they really, like I said before, they just, they really go over these sounds in many different ways so that it really gets drilled into them. So then she has little games that helps them with their sounds and their writing. And this is what this class consists of. P A R K I A G parking, thinking, T H I N K I N G thinking. They have spelling words that they do each week, and there'll be a test at the end of the week. And that concluded the phonics, language, and spelling for that day, and then I'm going to make another video of writing.